Hello, my name is Kishwani. This K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here. The official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 296. And today is our lesson number 184. Let's turn to page number 296. Problem number problem number three. Data analysis three. We're given two groups. A group of 20 a group of 20 values we are told 20 observations we are told has a mean of 85 we are told that the median of these 20 observations is 80 and in group B we are given 30 observations we are told that the mean is 75 and the median is 72 the question simply is what is the overall mean of these 50 observations put together the very first thing we should realize is that if we had the same number of observations, this group has, this one has 20, this one has 30. If we had 25 in both or 30 in both, it says here, notice that if group A and group B had the same number of observation, then the overall average would have been a very simple thing. Or it would be a simple, simple matter of taking the average of 75 and, and 85, and average of 75 and 85 is just 80, right in the middle. But here, but, but since we have more of the observation of mean of 75, we have 30 observation of, of mean of 75, therefore the overall average, and this because they have a mean of only 75 as opposed to mean of 85, this group B is pulling the overall average down, group B is pulling it down, therefore the overall average, overall, overall mean is going to be something less than 80, 80 is the midpoint, 80, 80, is, 80 is right in the middle, there is 75, it is 85, overall average would have been right in the middle, 80, if we had the same weight, but we don't have the same weight. Here, 75, we have a weight of 30, and here for 20, we have a weight of 20. Uh, for a mean of 85, we have a weight of 20. And that's exactly what we have to do here. We have to take the weighted average. We have to figure out what 75 times 30 is. We have to figure out what 75 times 30 is. Let me rewrite this thing. I didn't mean to set it up like this, but since I started it, 75, 85. How many 75s do we have? We have 30 observations of 75. How many observations we have of mean of 85? We have 20 observations. So we have to take the weighted average. We have to take, consider the weight. The weights are not equal. So 75 times 30, zero, 3 times 5 is 15, carry 1, 21 and 22. So this is 22, 50. And this is uh, 2 times 5 is 10, carry 1, 16 and 17. So we have 22, 22, 50 plus 17, 39, 50, and we have to divide this 39.50, total score of 3950 for this 50 observation by the number of observations, and we have 50 observations. So let's divide 39.50 by by 50. And I'm going to do it right here. 39.50 divided by 50. Divide top and bottom by zero and the zero drops out. Let's divide the top by five. How many fives in a three? How many fives in a three? Three has zero fives. This three goes and joins this nine. I, I shouldn't have crossed out the three. Three has zero fives. This three goes and joins the nine, becomes 39. How many fives in 39? 39 has seven fives. Seven fives are 30, seven fives are 30 fives. The remaining four is going to go and join this guy and it's going to become 45. How many fives in 45? 45 has nine fives. So the overall average, just as we just as we knew, just as we anticipated, is less than 80. Turns out the overall average is 79. And that's all there is. That's all there is. Just give me one second here. I'm trying to see if I can elaborate anymore. But that's all there is. Overall average is 79. The next part. In part B, they're asking, they're looking for the mean, uh, they're looking for the median of the 50 observation. Let's talk about it. So this is the overall observation, overall average, 79. The median, 
since we have 50 observation since we have 50 observation Twenty observations here, thirty observations here. Since the number of observations is an even number, therefore the median is going to be. Had we had fifty-one, had we had fifty-one observation, the median would have been very simple. The median would have been a simple matter of figuring out which one is the twenty-sixth observation, because in that case we would have had twenty-five observation to the right of it, twenty-five observation to the left of it, twenty-five plus twenty-five is fifty, and and the, two, and the one in the middle if we have 51 observations. But we have 50 observations, therefore the median is going to be the average average of the 25th and the 26th observation. It's going to be the average of the 25th and 26th observation. The problem is that all we know is that the median of this 30 observation is 72. We know nothing about each individual observation it is impossible to figure out what these observations are. It is impossible to figure out what these observations are. We do not know, we do not know what the 25th and the 26th observations are. Therefore, it cannot be done. It cannot be done. We cannot figure out the median. It cannot be done. That's all. And that's the answer. It can be done. In order for us to be able to figure out what the median is, we need to know the precise value of the 26th observation and the 25th observation. Or at the very least, their sum. If somehow we can figure out what the sum of the 25th observation and the 26th observation is, we don't have to know exactly what the observations themselves are but we do need to know their sum because if you knew the sum we we'll divide that by 2 and that, that would have been the median but we don't we don't know the observations and we do not know their sum it can be done that's the end of it okay i'll see you tomorrow bye now